How do you publish a book on Amazon? I'm going to talk about the details. How do you get on Amazon? How do you publish? How do you make money? And I'm going to talk about the differences. I'm a five-time New York Times bestseller. I got a six on the bestseller list, crushing it in a very different direction. Let's talk about the differences. Get a pen and paper for those of you authors that are serious, which by the way, you all have a book in you. It's just caught in your brain right now. So the four things I'm going to talk about is exactly how do you publish? How much money can you make as a self-published author on Amazon? If you're willing to market your guts out, what does it even cost to begin the game? Cause it's not free. And then do you make a decision to actually go with a publisher who will do most of the work, but you don't make as much of the money. It's just a math equation. Do you need to become a bestseller? Let's talk about that. How much can an Amazon bestseller make? Well, if you just search the internet, which is like the bathroom wall, anybody's going to say anything. The first thing that comes up is $10,000 a month. So don't get excited people. Do not get excited. We did the math 10,000 a month for call it a $20 book of which you give them 30%. So you make around 14 bucks. You're going to sell 715 books a month, right? So divide that by four, divide that by five. That's a lot of books a day. And if you have itsy bitsy little database and you only have 500 people in your database, you already got a problem. And that's just hoping every 500 buys it. So what's the real money that's going to be made? Well, I'll teach you how to make a hundred thousand guaranteed. Like that's easy. I'll tell you how to do that at the end of my video, but it's deeper in your funnel. The book is a brochure. Think of the, the book, like even our make your kids millionaires. It's a $25 hardback, 285 pages, 12 pages of index. It's a big book with McGraw Hill, a big publisher. We had to sell thousands and thousands and thousands of copies to become a bestseller. That wasn't cheap. And it was an exhaustive, like intense five months just to hit the marketing and sales process much less the year and two years before that God and I were writing the book. Mostly he did the writing and I did the marketing. So it's an interesting journey to take. Can you make money on the book alone? If you become an amazing marketer, you're going to have to have discounts, campaigns, extra bonuses, all sorts of fun things. Better, faster way to 10,000 is have some sort of, you know, consulting or coaching or some sort of advice giving or educational giving process that bundles a big package. The folks I coach, their minimum package is 2,500. A lot of them are 4,800 and a lot of them, I very quickly move them to 10,000. So I would just say it's easier to sell one $10,000 client than 715 books. But do you want 715 books out there? So you have a pool to buy of uh, buyers to go all the way to 10,000? Yes. But this is about building a funnel that's bigger. So the book itself, I would say how much you make isn't up to Amazon. It's up to you. It's 100% your issue. If you know how to market and you know how to sell. So at the end of this, I'm going to give you two tickets to my marketplace. And I love new authors and come sell your book. I put usually between 50, 70, hundred people every three weeks in a room and you can come and bring your new self published book or your idea pre-sell it for $10, go out and get busy doing your thing and make the book and use my audience to test against like a focus group to see if anybody even wants your idea. Why build something if no one has paid you for it? It's like a theme of my life. You don't move unless you have been paid. All right. So what's next? When you write a book, whether you publish on Amazon or you get a publisher or any content creation, you have this amazing thing called your phone. You start talking, you do not type. I don't believe there's such a thing as writer's block because you shouldn't be really writing you should be talking because your knowledge is in your brain. The fastest way to flow content and just have it come out easy, more organically richer. Even if you get into little tentacles where you're describing stuff, all of your content then gets in a recording. You throw that out to a transcription device. There's all sorts of otters free rev costs a little bit of money. There's some great transcription devices, have it transcribed and then hire an editor. If you're not a good copywriter, which I'm not, I mean, I have never tippy typed a book. I have talked to all my books and someone else has tippy typed them. I would rather chew glass than type a book. And you, if you're not good at it, just keep talking, let somebody else do it. And guess what you're going to be doing? Going out marketing and making money because these books just don't sell themselves. It's kind of interesting how so many people write a book in, I have to go off to an island or off to a resort or off to a little retreat to write my book. The content is already in your brain. That's the most interesting thing. Just download it. And I can promise you being a multiple, multiple, I mean, I got six bestsellers and I probably have another 40, 50 collaborative books. I have so much content. The more you give it, the more will come. Just trust yourself to be a vessel of expertise. It's just going to keep coming. You're going to have more to talk about, more to talk about, and your expertise is going to grow. And then you're going to have more followers, which you're going to need for all those things. 
So promise, do not write it, talk it and do it as fast as you can and give yourself a very specific time limit. I give myself two, three days because here's the truth. You've been thinking about it, right? You've been pondering it. You've been considering it. You might've even did the little tippy type thing and start writing some pages about it. The truth is unless you're a good copywriter and where writer's block happens is because you start going back to the paragraph before, that's not exactly how I want to say that. And so then you type again and then you go into Grammarly and then it's like, oh, Grammarly has suggestions and all of a sudden you're stuck and you have frustrated hour or two and you say, how could that I'm done for the day. That's writer's block. It's just because it's congestion and you shouldn't be doing it anyway. And if you're not just a free flow thinker, cause I actually think more and create more when I'm talking, which drives people crazy, but I record a ton. I record and there's this thing called a delete button. You can always just delete it. If you're not that kind of person and you are more in, in your head and not through your voice, be interviewed, have somebody interview that actually knows you and come up with some questions that if they asked you this question, all this information would just be flowing out of you. And all of a sudden you have this huge book. Now, what do you do next? You have to get a copy editor and a ghostwriter. I have always had them and I've always had people always edit it. Even if you think you're good, I'd still have somebody at least do a review and a backup just so you make sure, you know, there's just a different context. And those people I actually think shouldn't know you. I think they should have a very objective opinion. I think they should come at it from a very different angle. I would look at different age range cultures and have different people read it. Cause if it's just your buddies and it's like the same people that are like with you, you're all going to come up with the same ideas and they're just going to validate you. Say, oh, that was just so good. Especially you women, you're never critical and you should be. Well, you're critical privately, but not outwardly. So you get an editor. And then as far as graphics, there's all sorts of online fun competitions and places that you can just say, Hey, I'm doing a graphic competition, pay somebody a hundred bucks, pay somebody to do it. But you're going to have to have some illustration, have some graphics. The part that no one talks about really in book writing is the layout. The layout and the design is really important. And the carve outs where there's those little boxes out to the side. If you don't know how to do that, you are not going to spend weeks and months learning a software to figure that out and then not have it done right. Your copy editor and ghostwriters should know how to do that and they should be able to lay out the pages. Now Amazon's got an amazing process to help you self-publish and get things done and do print on demand. So they've kind of done a one-stop shop because remember Amazon started in the book business, right? Now they've moved into every other business possible and they've actually downgraded physical books, right? So they'll do a lot of eBooks. So if you're going to be an Amazon bestseller in really like quick time, it's only a couple hundred books within a sub, so many hour period. And there are experts who know how to do the exact algorithm. I'm just a highly published author and I'm telling you the highlights. So for a long time, when Amazon first started this, it was called create space and you could just go and do your own thing. And they'd help you even like do graphics and all the pieces and parts to do the book, including get the ISBN number. Now it's called Kindle direct publishing and they'll still guide you through how to get it done. Personally, I would not hard print. I would go out and I would at least launch your first ebook, get a lot of feedback, see what people think. That way you can edit and you can move it around, not you, but the person you've hired. And so when you hire, by the way, just a little tip, as I said that, hire to the end, which is going to include several revisions. If you nickel and dime these editors, it's going to cost you a fortune. You want to hire and contract an editor from start to finish including multiple edits once you go live. So you may go on a soft launch, just see what people think about it. If you already have a database, go to them first, get some feedback, edit it, then go, all right? And then do print on demand and allow people to print it. Cause once you print it and it's out there and it's in their homes or their ends up wherever on eBay, you can't change them. And if it's inaccurate, right? So what do you do at time sensitive? I just launched a book, make your kids millionaires. Our commitment, because there is some time sensitivity to it and there's laws and there's legal regulation. We're going to use our website, makeyourkidsmillionaires.com to put all of our checklists and our resources and keep that up to date. So at least several times a year, Kyle and I will go through and make sure that we have the latest laws, tax laws, Roth IRAs, how to hire kids, how much could kids make, when do you have to file taxes, all those things that are legal that are going to change year by year or could, you want to have a resource page always built in the background of it. So should you write a book? Absolutely. In fact, I think everyone did. Everyone does and should. Every business should have at least some sort of a little report ebook, even if it's nine, 10 pages. It's now you're called your new business card and it's a brochure and it should be what you get opt in when you first get to your website. I did this with a gas and oil company. I was marketing. I want to give some, and I've done it with real estate companies. Same thing, very quick little, you know, 
seven, 10, 12 pages of a quick book, why invest in gas and oil, right? That's the first thing we put up as a marketing brochure, right? Cause they could opt in. And then if they wanted to buy the whole book, I think it was like $10. And then if they wanted to go a webinar, part of it was free, but if they wanted the rest and they had to pay $20. And then at the end of the funnel, guess what? Voila, the company got a real estate or a gas and oil investor. So there's not a way or a company that you cannot tell me why you do not need content and you need to start publishing. So before I go to the cost and whether you should publish or self-publish, if you're enjoying like just money conversations and any conversations, I need you to subscribe and hit the notification button. The other thing is watch it every day. I get highly rewarded by your watch time, not your subscription time. So just because you subscribe and hit the notifications, not helping you get financially literate. I need 10 to 12 minutes a day, five days a week. Just listen to it when you're getting up, brushing your teeth, getting your coffee, whatever you do in the morning, it's a quick little video. And it's going to about a whole bunch of topics. In fact, the topic's not out here that you want. First, go to the search bar. I've got hundreds, if not thousands of hours by now. And if it's not here, put it in the comments and my team will let us know and we will put it on the next video sections that we put out for you guys. And share it with a lot of people. You know, you're the sum of the five, six people with you next to you. Don't have them be financially illiterate while you're getting literate. That'll be just a nightmare. All right, so what's the cost of publishing? Well, between editors, getting the graphics, getting it all together, minimum, you're gonna spend probably around $2,000. If you want me to coach you through it, depending on the level of what you know level you want, uh, it'll be a minimum of $3,000 to just give, I'll give you my blueprint all the way up to $30,000 and I'll help you do the whole thing. So that's kind of working with a mentor, but just hard costs between two and $4,000. That's on the cheap, right? Cause you're gonna have to have an editor. You're gonna have to have somebody lay it out. You're gonna have to have the graphics. You're gonna have to have the thing. And that's not even marketing costs. It costs them to do it, but you gotta just say it's the cost of doing business. And I would put, I put it as an opportunity cost because the funnel below it and what you can sell of additional products is phenomenal. It's phenomenal and will help you build that. Should you self-publish or publish? I've done both, right? If I wanna go for a big bestseller, I go back to New York. McGraw-Hill's been my biggest publisher. They've produced now four of my six big bestsellers. I went to Harper for one, I went to Hay House for the other. I don't chase them. We mutually find each other. They're ready for my content that we produce. They give me retainers. I still get paid. They're tiny compared to the first run. There is a way to get paid. Does it pay for the whole book if you want to run for a bestseller? No. You're well, 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 well into six figures if you want a big bestseller. And even if there's consulting firms, I mean, their minimum costs are going to be between 70 and 150,000 to even help you. I can tell you most of mine have cost minimum three, 400,000 and some of them as high as a million dollars. You say, oh my gosh, you spent that money. Yeah, but I have a huge funnel below. I've been running a big table for over 20 something years. That's a 25, 30, you know, $5,000 product. So is it worth spending that money to make it back in the next year to come? Yes, but that's up to you. It's up to you how you want to play the game. I'm just here to tell you the truth. And if anybody's telling you otherwise, then uh, you call our office and let's have a little chat about the information you're getting. Cause I have no reason to tell you anything but the truth. So. If you want to work on this, uh, go to asklaurel.com and ask a question. Say, I want to publish a book. I want to self-publish. I want Laurel to help me. I want her team to help me and uh, make a request, put in your information. We'll be right back out to you. We're going to send you out a gap analysis, which comes from my millionaire maker book. It's a profile. And uh, then you'll talk to one of our people one-on-one -on -one about your situation, what you want to do, and we'll come up with the best solution. If you are a beginning, beginning, beginning author, I'll just make the decision for you. Self-publish your first book just to get content out of your head. It's not, and, and if you haven't had a proven deep funnel of other items to sell, just get some content out, get it on your website and begin. Start today and we'll talk tomorrow.